Okay, uh, not sure if anyone will need this, but just in case, I'm going to show you how to assemble the feet and the handle on this uh, rigid vacuum. It's HD0600, and uh, it's the smaller vacuum. It's a six gallon, as you see there. Now I'm on top of a boat and dry dock, and I'm too lazy to go down to uh, take a closer picture. I think we got good enough, so I'm going to show you how to put the feet on. Let me shut this van off fan off and uh, I'll bake a little bit for you. Okay, so basically um, there's four supports for the feet. Um, there's a handle that goes on top and uh, so I just put one of the, the supports for the feet in. Some people may think it goes the other way so what we're gonna do is make sure it goes down like this way. Okay. And what we're gonna do is just kind of gently guide it in with a hammer. And uh, it's kind of like a snap. You, you might not hear it as you're banging away, but it's in there, okay? And uh, see, am I out all the way? Yeah. Okay, so just uh, finish. Putting all these in. I don't have my tripod with me, so I guess one hand camera stuff. Okay, and then uh, we got one more Where is it right here. Um, yeah, okay. You would think it would go this way, all right? The accessories go in there, but remember, this is upside down, so um, when we turn it around, it's going to be facing the right way. So get that ready in there. Knock it in. Okay, then you have the casters right here. Okay, I'm gonna take that out for a second. Also on a quick note, before you throw out the plastic that the wheels and the stuff came in, look for these screws, make sure you get them. You're gonna need this for the handle on top. There's just two screws in the whole assembly, okay? so. That being said, <coughs> let's take one of the casters and basically, I think you have to push down on this. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, snaps in. You got to get like a little bit of a kung fu grip. All right. Not too sure if I can. Uh, Get this. Maybe. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Okay, snap. Probably two hands. All right, snap. Snap a rooski. Uh, Ono Moss. Two hands. Maybe three hands. All right, so you get that snapped in. Flip this back over. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna do this the lazy man's way. I'm gonna get my gun, put it on low power. And get the handle ready to rock and roll. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little different. There's a little uh, edge part all right, this part is a little different, okay? See how this comes down on the side and there's a little slot here for it? So we're gonna get that there. Okay. And there we go, lay it right. And then we're gonna get these screws, open them up. Okay, and the Superman handle the screw. Okay, stays in there nice if you got the right bit. And let's see. Okay, a little click there. And now it's completely assembled. All right, and let's plug this in. Also, uh, 
on the hose where you connect it to the vacuum is a little clip. You can bend it and it clips onto this little notch here. Okay, so that's where everything goes into the vacuum. Okay, that's in there. Let's take the cover off and I'm gonna show you the inside. So we're just gonna unsnap both sides. Lift this out. And as you see, here's the filter. Now, probably a lot of you know that if you're gonna use this to suck up water, like we're gonna do in the bilge down there, remember we're in the cabin of the boat. We're gonna take the filter out. You don't suck water up with the filter on the vacuum. So basically, um, we're gonna take the, the <coughs> we're gonna take the filter off and I'll show you how in a second. Okay, so to take the filter off, you need uh, two hands and at least one thumb. And you see these little areas that protrude out a little bit. We're going to lift up on that and push on that. And I'm going to see if I can arrange the camera so you can see that. And the filter is going to pop up over this. You don't take this off, okay? So let's try it out with my uh, my phone between my hands. All right, check this out. All right, look at that, okay? So this stays on and uh, that's it. There's no removable bottom. There's no removable thing there. And let's put it back on and we're gonna press it right down here. We're gonna make sure the centerpiece, all right, goes through. dropped the phone in case I edited that part out okay and then you're ready to rock and roll you can visually inspect it and we're looking good put the cover on I don't know if it makes a difference if you spin this or not yeah I'll just leave it like that Okay, make sure you line this up. Pay no attention to the boat parts here. We're we'll we'll refinishing a, a sailboat, so we took off all the accessories while we painted. All right, that's clicked in. And uh, I'm gonna plug this in. So I'll be right back. So we got it plugged in. That's the power switch right there. Remember the hose goes into here. This is where it sucks everything in and that is the blowout hole right there I guess if you want to turn this into a blower you stick the hose attachment there instead So let's turn it on This baby is loud, but most shop vacs are. Yeah, it's a loud vacuum, but it, it's, um, it sucks pretty good, which is good. So, so there you go. That's the review. Um, it's a uh, six gallon, so it's not giant, but it, it's uh, just enough to do a job. Later on, I'm going to use it. I'm going to, uh, to suck the water out of the bilge down in there. And so there you go. If you appreciate it, uh, I mean, if uh, I would, I appreciate it if you do the uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right.